This video is based on Butterfly Optimization Algorithm. It is latest nature inspired population based algorithm that is basically inspired by the food foraging that is food search and mating behavior of butterflies. So as this is nature inspired algorithm. So first we will learn butterfly behavior in the nature in order to understand how this algorithm is working. It is important to understand butterfly behavior in the nature. As we know butterfly are the flying insects and they look like this have bright color and you can see small head to compound eyes and they are the most appealing creature in the nature and and they basically feed on nectar from the flowers and an adult butterfly consume on the liquid that is nectar from the flowers and they can use the antennas as you can see here to sense air from wind and fragrance and they can fly when their temperature is 27 degrees Celsius and the largest butterfly in the world is Queen Alexandra world being and butterflies also derive nourishments from rotten fruits, dung, decaying flesh and as you can see here dissolved min minerals in the dirt or sand. Butterfly life cycle you can see here first we have an adult butterfly and after that this butterfly lay egg eggs on the food plant and after that from egg we have larva and larva consume plant leaves and they can also communicate with ants through vibration or using chemical signals and provide protection to the larva and in return they gather honeydews for the ant honeydews are the sugar rich sticky liquid from larva we have a pupa so when this phase is completed puppet skin splits and adult insects climb out and wings dry it can fly so this is the latest nature inspired population based algorithm that is inspired by the forcing and the mating behavior of the butterflies in this algorithm, it is basically inspired by the various foraging strategies used by butterflies in the real world. And we can use this algorithm to solve global optimization problems. And more than 18,000 butterfly species are found. Now next question is how butterflies search food or partner for mating. Here, butterfly use their sense of smell, sight, taste, touch and hair. Here the important sense is smell, sense of smell and it help butterfly to find food sources that is nectar and other and it also help butterfly to find suitable place for laying eggs and it also help butterflies escape from predators. On scientific observation it is found that Butterflies have very accurate sense of locating the source of food fragrance. In this algorithm, butterflies are the search agents and they will generate fragrance using fitness values. So here we will use fitness values to generate fragrance because in nature it is quite natural but in this algorithm we are using fitness values and intensity for the fragrance and as butterfly move from one location to another their fragrance that is the fitness value change accordingly. Now next question is how butterflies share personal information. As we know in the ant colony optimization algorithm ant use pheromones on the ground for the communication. Now how butterflies share personal information they can sense the fragrance. They are using here fragrance and they can sense the fragrance in the air using their antennas. So when any butterfly is able to sense the fragrance from other butterfly it moved toward it. That is global search and in case if it is not able to sense the fragrance from the surrounding then it will move randomly that is local search. So here we have certain assumptions for the butterfly movement in this algorithm. First all butterflies are supposed to emit some fragrance. So it is the first assumption that all butterflies are supposed to emit some fragrance and, and which enable the butterflies to attract 
each other. Suppose we have some fragrance here. S just imagine. Now, butterflies will move randomly or toward the best butterfly. So in this algorithm, we have two movement for the butterfly. First is a random movement in case butterfly is not able to sense any fragrance in the surrounding then we will use random movement for that butterfly else if butterfly is able to sense fragrance in the air from other butterfly then it will move toward the best butterfly that is emitting more fragrance so in this algorithm first we have initialization phase then we will check the stopping criteria if it is not matched then searching process is started here and after that we will update the butterfly position in the search space and we will repeat this loop until the stopping criteria is matched and in the end we will display the best solution obtained. As you can see here first we have objective function generate the initial population for the n butterfly here n can be 10, 20, 50 accordingly. After that we will calculate the intensity value for the each butterfly and then define the certain parameters. After that, we will check the stopping criteria. Then, for each butterfly in the population, we will calculate the fragrance. After that, we will find out the best butterfly among all. And for each butterfly in the population, we will generate a random number, R. That is, then the value for the R is in between 0 and 1. This is the normally distributed random value. Now check whether the random value is less than p or not. If this condition is true, then move the butterfly toward the best butterfly or solution. Else, we will move the butterfly randomly. After that, we will update the parameter a and we will repeat this loop until the stopping criteria is matched. And once the stopping criteria is matched, we will display the best solution that you obtained in the previous iteration. In order to calculate the fragrance we will use this equation in order to calculate the fragrance for each butterfly in the population we will use this equation and if the value for a is zero it means fragrance emitted by butterfly cannot be sensed by others so parameter initialization is the it plays a very important role in any algorithm it controls the algorithm behavior so it is very important to initialize all the parameters carefully. How we can move the butterfly toward best solution using this equation. As you can see here, xi i is 1 to n. n is the total number of butterflies in the population. t is the current iteration. And then here you can see this is the random value. Here you can see this is the fragrance value. This is the current best solution. And we can move butterfly randomly using this equation. Here, this is the butterfly from solution space. Here you can see these are the two butterflies from the solution space, fragrance, random value. So this is the butterfly optimization algorithm that we can use to solve global optimization problems. And if you want to learn more about this algorithm, you can check the research paper link given below in the description box. So that's all about this video. If you have any question, you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.